uh, I would like us to firstly start our conversation from the issue around the temperatures and how they've dropped drastically just in the last few days. Maybe you could just start from there and give us an update. Uh, from the beginning of this week, we've seen how the temperatures have continuously dropped up until today. Yeah, it is true that uh, the temperatures have been dropping since Monday. And this is the situation that uh, as ZMD we monitored uh, starting last week on Friday. We saw this situation that uh, the temperatures during the week will reduce due to, due to wind flow, which is coming from the cold source. That is over the over the southwest Indian Ocean or the southeast part of the subcontinent at the tip there, where the high pressure system is, is seated. It's, it's ranging from 10, 10, 23 to 10.6 HP or hectopascal. Hence, this is very deep, affecting this cold air, which, which carries some moist as it is passing over the continent. Hence the situation that we are seeing, and it's true, the temperatures are very low. We have recorded in some some, some places like Kafilonda, uh, Kasempa, temperatures for the week that are below 4, 4 degrees in the morning. And then we have even recorded air temperature in some stations that is below 10. That is at 8 hours, air temperature going below 10 and ranging between, between 8 up to 24. So it is quite very low. And, and when we speak of how long this will last, I know that you have mentioned that it might go all the way up until Friday, but whether patterns and conditions have a tendency to change from time to time, do you think that this current forecast that you have given us in drop uh, in temperatures will last or go beyond Friday, the 1st of uh, July? Uh, the, the period that we, 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 we saw in our forecast using our models and the data across the country, it gave us up to the, the significant drop. It still stands up to tomorrow, 1st uh, July. However, on the 2nd on the second July, that will be sat, that is Saturday. The eastern portion, that is Lusaka, Central, Eastern, and parts of Muchinga, will still have reduced temperatures. While other areas like the northern part of Western Province and central part of Western Province, Northwestern Province, Copper Belt, Ruapula Northern, they will have a slight pickup in temperature starting on, 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 on a second, that is a Saturday. Then after the Sunday on the, on the 3rd up to 60th July, the country will start experiencing increased temperatures. But it won't be as an increase as, as we see in October. No, they will still be on the lower side, landing between 18 degrees up to 27 during that week from 3rd up to up to 6th July. So they will still be on the lower side because as we know that we are still in winter and the sunny position, the sunny position is in the northern hemisphere. And you know, and you know that the astronomical winter winter day in southern southern hems has started on the 21st 21st june 2022 when the sun was over the tropic of cancer so it crossed the tropic of cancer going further to the north this resulted in southern africa receiving the sun rays that at the tangential or at the at the slash of an angle so there is not all over the overhead it is still slanting the the sun rays, hence the winter will still be with us, the lower temperature will still be with us. Again, our models are saying that after the 60th of July going into the 10th, 12th, we are going to have again a reduction in temperature. That is according to the models, unless otherwise they change. Because as you know that the, the weather that we monitor us is basically driven by the rotation of the Earth the revolution of the Earth around the Sun, this revolution and the rotation, it causes the atmospheric general circulation. So this is just basically the mechanism that are brought about by the general circulation. So the cold temperatures, the ammonia TV, they are still with us. And when we speak of how alarming this situation is, uh, just, you know, describe, do, do you think that we should be concerned about the continuous drop in, in weather conditions within the country. Could you describe the situation to us and how critical it is? 
exactly as, as humans on earth and on the world, I think we have to be concerned because it is somehow affecting our lives. For example, maybe on a lighter note, some people have maybe stopped bathing because of the, the, these cold temperatures. Some people probably have stopped waking up to go early to their, to their court due to their econo social economic duties. So we have to be concerned. Then two, the concern should be also to us because as you know, in Southern Africa, we depend on agriculture. And the people have just, just come from, people are still harvesting. Others have harvested and they have put their produce in a place where these rains that are mainly coming in the morning and late afternoon, sometimes in the night, can soak the, the, the produce. Hence, people lose out on the food security. So basically, we have to be concerned because we are, it affects our lives from the, especially the children and the, and the aged people. So there's need to take that precaution of our environment and the way how our life are affected. If I don't have something that warm me, I have to be concerned to say how much should I put on for my body to get warm. So those are the concerns that the public should basically adhere to appropriately. And uh, lastly, as we get to conclude, uh, just maybe give us an uh, understanding also of what we need to ensure uh, what we need to do to ensure that we're keeping safe and clear of such kind of, of weather conditions, because I know this could affect uh, many people's uh, lives and, and health if we're not uh, taking care of ourselves during this period of the drop in temperatures. Yeah, basically, Damon TV, I think, through you as a media, is what the public should be taking is to ensure that they listen to the weather forecast. Because as like the, this, this condition that we are experiencing, we did issue an advisory last week on Friday and also issued the same advisory on, on Monday. So it is very important for people to take care in getting this up, these updates frequently. These are climatic information, these are weather information, these are natural information that, that can change at any time. So as ZMD is monitoring as each mandate, because each mandate is to observe record and disseminate the weather and the climate information. So let the people take care and take keen interest in getting these updates so that they move with the informed minds so that we protect ourselves, we protect our environment, we protect the world at large. That's what I can say, Diamond TV, thank you.